The question is, should you buy Greece? That $15 range, is that four to six hours of gameplay worth your money? And more importantly, your time. In short, if you're a fan of video games, regardless of genre, yeah, I think 100% worth your time. If you prefer action shooters, however, or simply don't like puzzle solving, I would wait for a reduced cost or the free option. I don't think you're going to enjoy it as much. Let's talk about it. Game's description. Greece is a hopeful young girl lost in her own world, dealing with a painful experience in her life. Her journey through sorrow is manifested in her dress, which grants new abilities to better navigate her faded reality. Developed by Nomada Studio and published by Devolver Digital. Man, Devolver Digital like feels like A24 with movies. They just they just make bangers all the time. Can't stop. Let's talk about the target audience. Greece can be played by anyone. It's a little dark in some points and a little cerebral, kind of like Cocoon, uh, if you're familiar with that title. So a younger audience may not tap into those themes as much, but the visuals are stunning. So it's easy for anyone to jump in. There is some puzzle solving. There's no character dialogue. And if you had to pick something, uh, it can feel slow in parts. So if any of that is discouraging to you, it may not be worth the price tag, at least for now. Let's talk about the art style. Where to begin? The first thing that came to mind is watercolor. Greece in Spanish is gray. I'm not sure if that's where they got the name for it, but throughout the game, without too many spoilers, your character slowly restores color to the world. So when you begin, everything around you is bland, it's dark, it's just black and white. As you advance, you get these swashes of color that fill the world. They populate the environment around you. Most noticeable is watercolor, literally coming in waves and adding color to the screen and the environment as you advance through the story. It's pretty trippy. Depending on how you use your recreational time, I'm wink greece could be a fun game for you uh, i saw a steam review describe it as european avant-garde animation from the 1970s i googled that and yeah kind of spot on I, I genuinely don't even know how to describe it i don't have the the words in my vocabulary the art terms for it just know that this is a beautiful game and the art style by far in my opinion carries it let's talk about the combat Greece is a PvE adventure. You solve puzzles, platform, you do interact with enemies, but it's not really traditional combat. You use the environment to escape, delay, and I'll put in quotes, combat enemies. It's more like there are dangers in the world and you use your acquired abilities to move past them, to avoid them. There's elements of danger, but your goal is to survive, not to destroy. Let's talk about the core mechanics. Uh, Greece is a movement heavy platformer with puzzle solving. As you advance and you bring back color to the world, you acquire abilities uh, such as you turn yourself into a big heavy square box that can break through rocks or add weight to elevator elements. Think Kirby's down B from Smash. There's running, gliding, swimming, walking, smashing, everything that you want in a game with good platforming. There is some collecting as well, but that's more for achievement hunting, not really a core part of the story. Let's talk about the audio. Again, uh, where to start? Uh, it's beautiful. Do not play this title on mute. Do not play this title with any kind of filters on your monitor or your screen. The music changes to set the mood, everything between joy and sorrow. It sounds a lot like it looks. There's nothing generic here. There's nothing generic in this title. Each environment changes and, and sets the ambient noise to what you'd expect. Be it like a deserty area, a forest type area. You know, you're up in the sky. It all sounds exactly like what the environment is showing you visually. It complements the visuals in a great way as the visuals are by far the star of this show. Let's talk about the story. To repeat, the game's description here. Greece is a hopeful young girl lost in her own world, dealing with a painful experience in her life. Her journey through sorrow is manifested in her dress, which grants new abilities to better navigate her faded reality. Now that's a very copy heavy description. You do play a young girl, you are lost in the world that she's set in and you can feel her pain despite having no dialogue. Very hard to do, by the way. She acquires these abilities as she's solving and working through this pain, solving puzzles and working through this pain and restoring color to the world. You could apply a lot of different metaphors to this title and they do a good job of not telling you exactly exactly what to think or how to feel, though the environment and the music and the colors sort of leads you in that direction, but nothing outright or obvious. So I do think that every person who completes this game will get something different out of it, which is nice. Let's talk about the content. For me, Greece is a one-time playthrough, not because it's bad, but because it's just so intense. I don't, I don't need to go back through it. And once you've kind of experienced it once, it takes that awe away. If it is the best way I can say it. It's kind of like everyone has those movies where you watch it once, you say, "Hey, I'm good on that. I don't need to see that again." Not again, not because it's bad, but because it was just so much, so overwhelming. I just don't, don't need to go back. I've already experienced it. You can run it back for achievements or speedrunning or collectibles, but ultimately it's about four to six hours of playtime, and that was plenty for me. Let's talk about the QA. Zero issues. I played through Game Pass on PC with an Xbox controller, had no problems. So for a price tag of up to 15 bucks, depending on where you're buying or if it's still on Game Pass at the time of me posting this video, should you buy it? If it's on Game Pass still, 
yes, absolutely. Whether you're a fan of the genre or not, I, I think you should try it. I think it's worth a try by anyone. If you're a video game fan and uh, you're wondering if you should purchase it outright, yeah, I, I, I do think so. I think Grease is one of those games that shows what games are truly capable of and, and showcases an insanely talented group of artists. Four to six hours of something truly unique to the space, you will not be disappointed. That said, for example, if you are, for example, if your favorite genre are action adventure shooters, this may not be for you. I, I do think you'll, you're going to find it a little slow. Or if you're not really into puzzle solving or platforming of any kind, I, I, I do think that you might, might not be worth the price tag, at least at this time. I would wait for it to go on sale or come down to that free, or if you could borrow it or someone can gift it to you, I'd wait for that if, uh, if any of those raise red flags for you. But if you're just a video game fan and you're down to try anything, Grease is definitely one of those, it should be in your, in, in your library for sure. But if you're a fan of all games, all genres, Grease is definitely one of those that I would say you need to try. Visually speaking, I have seen nothing like it. It does something pretty remarkable in my opinion, or worth, worth the look. All right, that's it for me team. This has been Ghost Stories Gaming or Ghost Plays Games on all things socials. I very much appreciate your time and watching this video. Feel free to stick around if you enjoyed the content, drop a sub, drop a like, drop a share. You guys know the drill at this point as we work to build this channel. I will see you guys on the next review and have a great rest of your day. Peace.